Princess Martha Louise of Norway is relinquishing her duties to differentiate more clearly between her own activities and her relationship to the royal house. The Norwegian royal family announced in a post on its website that the princess will not carry out official duties for the royal house at the present time following close consultation with the king and other close family members. Princess Martha Louise, a patron of several organizations, informed those involved she is stopping her patronage role, which has provided the framework for her official duties. She is taking this step to create a clearer dividing line between her business activities and her role as a member of the royal family The organizations that had been under her patronage will be offered the alternative members of the Norwegian royal family as patrons. The Royal House of Norway added in a post on its website, the princess and her fiancé, Derek Verret, are seeking to distinguish more clearly between their activities and the Royal House of Norway. This means, among other things, that they will not employ the title of princess or refer to members of the Royal House in their social media channels, in media productions or in connection with other commercial activities, with the exception of at Princess Martha Louise on Instagram. His Majesty the King has decided that the princess is to keep her title. The King and Queen wish to thank Princess Martha Louise for the important work she has carried out in her official capacity for several decades. She has performed her duties with warm, care and deep commitment. The website post concluded that when Derek Verret and Princess Martha Louise marry, the former will become part of the royal family, following in the footsteps of Erling Lorentzen, Johann Martin Ferner and Ari Ben. But in accordance with tradition, Mr. Verrett will not hold a title or represent the Royal House of Norway. The couple will however attend family-related gatherings, such as birthday celebrations, as well as certain major sporting events that the Royal Family traditionally attend together. The Royal House of Norway wrote, in 2019, Princess decided in consultation with her family not to use the title of princess in connection with her business activity. This principle will now apply to her fiancé Derek Verrett as well. Accordingly, they will not indicate an association with the Royal House of Norway in their social media channels, with the exception of at Princess Martha Louise on Instagram, in media productions or in connection with other commercial activities. In practice this means that the Princess and Derek Verrett will avoid mention of this association in activities such as social media tagging, the use of the Princess title or the use of pictures of or references to other members of the royal house in channels where commercial activity also takes place. This includes interviews primarily intended to draw attention to commercial activity. This is intended to draw a dividing line that more clearly separates commercial activity from the royal house of Norway. The objective is both to prevent misunderstandings regarding the royal house and to allow the princess and Derek Verrett greater freedom in their business activities and other parts of their lives. But in the website post, the royal house of Norway added the situation we as a family have found ourselves in recently, however, has raised problems that are complex and that involve many different views we are trying to accommodate. The royals wrote, for us it is crucial to maintain our relationship of trust with the Norwegian people while at the same time safeguarding the well-being of our family to the best of our ability. The constraints on what we may say or do while representing the royal house have been questioned and challenged. That is why we have seen a need to further clarify roles and the use of the prince's title. We are also committed to the ideal of all people living together in harmony despite their differences. We deplore the racist attitudes that Derek Verrett has had to contend with, especially on social media. 
we consider it a strength that the royal house reflects Norway's ethnic diversity. Last month, Norwegian media reported that a number of meetings had taken place at the royal palace in Oslo where Princess Martha's title was being discussed. This came after Mr. Verret faced criticism for several health claims which included an advert for a medallion which he claimed cured COVID. Speaking to reporters at the time, Crown Prince Hakan said, This is a topic that I find difficult. On the one hand, my sister got engaged, and I got to know Dirk Verret and think it is nice to be with him. I have been with him on many occasions. I would like him to feel welcome in our family. At the same time, I feel very responsible for the institution. We have of course noticed that some of what has been said and done has caused quite a bit of discussion. Some of it has also been controversial. We have to talk about figuring this out and that is what we are trying to do now that we now have this process where we are trying to find a good way forward. At the same time that brings us the feelings and thoughts about the different aspects. So this is going to take some more time. It is natural that if something happens that people think something about, that it creates debate. I think that is part of the living democracy that Norway is a part of. In today's latest website post, the Royal House of Norway clarified, the members of the Royal House of Norway have great confidence in the Norwegian Health Service and the Norwegian Health Authorities. A structure based on established medical knowledge and scientific research, carried out by skilled health personnel across the entire health service, has resulted in one of the world's best healthcare systems for the benefit of everyone in Norway. Princess Martha Louise and Derek Verret have stressed on several occasions that they have confidence in, and avail themselves of, the conventional medical establishment and the Norwegian Health Service, 